Hi everyone and welcome to the monthly update video for March 2023 and as usual in these videos we are going to start with what my uh, planned games are for this month and uh, next up it hopefully will be tomorrow night as Gates Ed take on FC Halifax Town a massive game for us in the National League and our quest for survival uh, Halifax uh, not exactly safe of yet although i don't think they're really that far off so they'll want to uh make sure of it as soon as they possibly can so uh, a big game for both sides obviously we're looking to bounce back after that massive disappointment on saturday but um the weather is looking very patchy this week so uh, it's not 100 percent that it's actually going to be going ahead but uh, hopefully it does and uh Hopefully as well we can get back to winning ways and uh, break our long-standing hoodoo against Halifax, which I will elaborate more on in uh, tomorrow's video. All being well, uh, then uh, next up uh, will be on Wednesday, which is the 8th of March. Again, completely weather-dependent, and it is uh, Gisborough Town versus South Park Rangers in the semi-final of the North Riding Senior Cup. Um like, I mean, this one, I'd be extremely surprised if it went ahead. Um, I mean, I'm personally just preparing myself for the fact it's probably not going to go ahead. Um, but when it does eventually come around, I should be there. I mean, if it gets called off this week, then I imagine I might even just play it next week. Um, bear in mind, Gisborough have a game the following midweek and the mid midweek after that, which I'll uh, get onto shortly. Um then on Saturday, this coming Saturday, which is the 11th of March, it is the FA Trophy quarter-final between Gateshead and Farsley Celtic. Uh, massive opportunity for the club. Uh, obviously, uh, where the favourites going into it, it's a free hit for Farsley. So it's one a game that we're going to have, have to be pre pretty wary in. Uh, they're not doing too badly at the minute. I mean, I don't think they've lost really that many games at all of late. So... Uh, their position in the league below a side, I do, I'm expecting a, a tough battle, but a game that I think we've got reasons to be confident in. Then on uh, next Tuesday, which will be the 14th of March, I will be recompleting the Northern League at Washington as they take on Newcastle University. So uh, looking forward to finally getting there and uh, finally uh, once again having the Northern League recompleted then uh, Saturday the 18th it is another massive game in the National League it is Gateshead versus Torquay United uh, both sides currently in the bottom four and both in uh, desperate need of some wins so uh, expecting a very big game feel to that one a real six pointer isn't it then on Tuesday the 21st I am Actually, uh, for the first time since I uh, finished my undergrad course, uh, seeing a game in Cumbria. It is Penrith versus Redcar Athletic, so uh, really looking forward to that one. Uh, it's going to be a nice little mix for me socially that night, I think, because uh, obviously it'll be nice to catch up with everyone I used to see it see out and about when I was living over in Cumbria the games at places like Carl City, Penrith, Workington, even grounds in like the south of Scotland in the south of Scotland like Queen of the South, Annan, Gretna. Um so it'll be nice to catch up with some of those people again. It's been a very long time and of course uh, bring in my all my pals from Teesside over with me as well. So it's a perfect mix really, isn't it? Um then the night after is when which will be Wednesday the twenty second, um Gisborough Town versus Pickering Town. Uh yeah, uh, obviously really looking forward to that one. Two clubs that I feel as though I've got a good sort of, sort of relationship with. Uh, some uh, good people at both. Uh, it should be a good night of football, that. Um, then Saturday the 25th, it is the only long haul of the month. It is Aldershot Town versus Gateshead. And obviously uh, this month uh, is being dominated like the, dominated by Gateshead home games. Obviously last month it was dominated by Gateshead away games. But... Uh, an away trip in there to uh, Aldershot, it's going to be a tough game, obviously they've made pretty light work of us at the International Stadium, but hopefully things can be a bit different this time. Then we're rounding off March on Tuesday the 28th with Gateshead versus Dagenham and Redbridge. Now, uh, Dagger's a very inconsistent side, it has to be said, uh, you don't know what you're going to get with them, like, obviously they went and... Uh, 
turned over Notts County at Meadow Lane, but then were beaten by Maidenhead. So, uh, so yeah, uh, very inconsistent, uh, bish bash boss sort of side Dagenham really. Uh, but as always, uh, sort of looking forward to that. Uh, the night under the new lights of the International Stadium. Then the last game before. Next monthly update video is uh, subject to the semi-final of the FA Trophy or Gateshead's involvement in the semi-final of the FA Trophy. But if Farsley put us out, it will be uh, Gisborough Town versus Heaton Stannington. So uh, either way, I'm going to have something to look forward to that day. Either the Gateshead being one game from Wembley or uh, what could be could prove to be a very entertaining game in the Northern League. So that is uh, sort of where I'm at in terms of my plans for this coming month. And uh, looking a bit further ahead, obviously there is the uh, there is the Germany trip at the at the start of May on Coronation Weekend. Um, if, uh, truth be told, I am uh, deliberately fleeing the country that weekend because uh, I can't really be bothered with all the fuss of uh, some bloke getting a glorified hat put on his head. Um, but there could be scope for some a couple of extra European trips. Um, one could be on Sunday the 30th of April, um, which is uh, my birthday as it happens. Um, and uh, looking into uh, the Serie A fixture changes when they come about, uh, it'll either be all being well either... Uh, Inter versus Lazio or Roma versus AC Milan. So uh, either way, it's going to be Milan versus Rome that day. Um, it'll either be at the San Siro or it'll be at the Stadio Olimpico. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what the fixture changes bring. But I'm fairly confident at least one of those games will be on the Sunday. Obviously, the Saturday is uh, the last day of the National League season, which could be obviously a massive day for, for Gateshead, depending on situation at the time and hopefully it'll just be a complete nothing game for us so we'll, we've already done the job and we can just have a little bit of a survival party that day but uh it's there to be seen and uh another sort of possibility i have is uh, a european trip on week commencing the 22nd of may um got a bit of annual leave from work so uh might might just make the most of it um i do believe there's a full round of la liga fixtures that week, I've always wanted to go to a, a Real Betis. I know they're at home, uh, Valencia at home as well. There's, there's loads of teams at home, so uh, I'll just have to figure out what's what, maybe a bit nearer at a time. And of course, uh, the day before, which is uh, which would be uh, Sunday the 21st of May, is of course the day of the FA Trophy final. And uh, at this stage, uh, you never know. Like I'm not going to sort of book anything until I know exactly what's going on with uh, the FA Trophy um, so but the options are there and uh, like it's, it's going to be a brilliant end to this, to this season I can assure you of that and uh, speaking of which um, like I, I, I want to have a good end to this season like I want to um, see if I can maybe get games such as uh, games in, in, in the EFL playoffs I mean it's looking highly likely now that uh, Borough are going to be Involved in a championship ones, although um, the way it's going, I could he could yet catch Sheffield United um, and take that automatic spot. But if not, I'll uh, definitely endeavour to be at least at the Riverside leg of the uh, semi final. And if uh, Borough at Wembley, then uh, I'll certainly look into that as well. Um, I mean, obviously, there's no guarantees, there'll be high demand for it. Um, I mean, obviously, I want sort of all the sort of proper Borough fans that are at the Riverside week in, week out to make sure they get a ticket. But um, the allocation will be will be more than what they get at the Riverside. So uh, I think after a certain point, it's just fair game really, isn't it? Um, that's just personally my view on it. You might disagree with it, but uh, I've said what I said and I'll stick by that. And as well, uh, there's things such as maybe the National League North play a final again this year. Um like obviously, uh, last year's National League North player final is still uh, currently my most viewed video ever. Um, so maybe go for maybe maybe go for, go for the views again. I mean, not that I do this for the views at all. I do it for uh, maybe promoting teams that maybe won't get it otherwise. I'm just giving myself something to look back on in future as well, just to um, 
sort of relive the memories. Like people might look at it and think, oh, why are you filming a football match? Just live it. Um, well, uh, what, what I'll say to you is uh, in years to come, I'll be able to relive it. So, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not having any, a dig at anyone or anything, but um, but the, the fact that I've got all this to sort of look back on in years to come, irrespective of how the video's performed, is, uh, yeah, it's something that I'm proud of and uh, I'm not afraid to uh, to show that. Um, and speaking of uh, going forward, uh, I am sort of look, starting to think now about next season in a way obviously we're in march now where 2022 to 23 is drawing to a close um not gonna lie i'm kind of glad of that i mean it's not been the best of seasons uh obviously for me as a gates had fan um and as well uh, the channel's been a bit ropey this year hasn't it like it's been it's like sometimes it's had a, a good run then it's just fallen flat uh, i think we're in a little bit of a flat run at the minute to be honest with you and it's uh, down to me to uh to get back out of the ground, um, but two thousand twenty three to twenty four, I think it'll be a much better, much sort of more plain sailing year. Like I've learned a lot from this year, the good and bad. Um, and, and I want to sort of like just sort of save up properly financially. Really, um, like I'm sort of not really gonna put much effort into pre season. Uh, next season because uh, like let's be honest most friendlies are a total waste of your time out there I and mean, that's been reflected this year like it was a pretty terrible pre-season I mean a lot of it were pre-seasons just sort of look at a draw I mean uh, last season I had a pretty good one and it sort of gave the channel sort of got the ch got a ch got lift off for the channel sort of quite early on whereas this year it was uh, totally different it was Sort of really bland. I weren't enjoying the games. Uh, the atmosphere was a bit dead. Um, I mean, if there's friendlies in the summer, like, I don't know if Gates would get a friendly away to like Whitby or Scarborough or something like that. that, that that's different. Like that's the sort of thing I would go for. Just uh, it's a good day out. But a lot of them, like I'm just looking, I'm just thinking, can I really be bothered? Because um, the reality is, I'd rather sort of save that money and maybe next season have a week long European trip where maybe I go out on a late on a Friday night, early on a Saturday morning, and then uh, just stay in Europe for the full week, then uh, like just take in loads of games, like maybe plan it around when the uh, Champions League and the Europa League and Europa Conference League are going to be. Um, like, there's so much I, I could do with next season, and uh, it's just it's just down to me to um, just sort of think about it and make my decisions a bit more wisely. But that is that for this video, and I'll, of course... Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with uh, Gateshead versus FC Halifax Town. Um, but if not, uh, if that gets called off, then uh, I am I've not totally ruled out Huddersfield Town versus Bristol City. Um, but if it if it gets called off and I decide not to go that, then I'll, I'll be back on Wednesday with Gisborough Town versus South Park Rangers. Um, and if that gets called off, I'll be back on Saturday with Gateshead versus Farsley Celtic. And if that's called off, um, I'll be back with something on Saturday anyway. But until whenever, take care, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.